So Christmas cheer is more of a consciousness than it is a season. It does come around every year, but the consciousness is with us all the time. And we can always tap into that season of cheer uh, any moment of any day under any circumstance. It does take some practice and it is uh, a discernment, but it is possible. And it's so much better to be in cheer than to be right. Being right is a dead end for most of us. And the divine loves beauty. It loves bounty and cheer uh, comes from beauty and bounty. The minute you step into an environment that is organized, beautiful, sensuous, colorful, cheer automatically comes. So you can tell automatically that this is the truth of our divine nature. And good cheer celebrations and expressing gratitude is prominent this time of year. But as Bishop Dana was telling us earlier, you know, every day is my birthday, every day is Christmas, if you let it be that way. I was talking to Padre on the phone the other day. I was on the, I was walking down the street and we were, you know, just yakking about some things. And he said, Oh, Bobby, you you always have Christmas at your house. And it's so true because I do have a lot of color and streaming ribbons and you know everything is celebrated because that's just how i relate to the divine and you know i i really appreciate that life is sweet and we learn you know to come from our heart we, we learn to come from the truth of our own inner being uh and we see that the good father and the good mother and those archetypes become very alive during this time of year Mr. Happy Man brings cheer in Bermuda. I met Johnny Barnes uh, by accident. I was doing some research for something and I happened to cross Johnny Barnes. And he says, I enjoy making people happy. I like to let them know that life is sweet and that life is good. It's good to be alive. And in 2011, a documentary, one of two, was made about Mr. Happy Man, who is Johnny Barnes, uh, because life is sweet. It's life is beautiful. It's good to be alive. And he enjoys the sunshine, the flowers, the birds, because they're happy. Those simple reminders that happiness is our birthright, as Bishop Dana was telling us this morning. And Johnny Barnes, I love this, credits his mother for teaching him goodwill. I credit my mother for so many things. And it's so nice to have another man speak about the the way that his mother influenced his life. His favorite thing is, I love you, good morning, he would often say. And he knew that he was an instrument in the hand of God. He starts his day at 2 to 3 a.m., which I recognize that time myself, and so does Mary Kay and a, and a bunch of other people. Um, he has his breakfast, and then every day, Monday through Friday, from 3.40 a.m. until 10 a.m., he stands on the corner and he greets people. And he lets them know that, um, you know, as you learn to love one another, there will be no more war. There will only be the love of God coming through, the love of brotherhood, sisterhood coming through. People seek him out and they use him as a way to to know that their day will be blessed. If he looks at them in the eye as they're driving by or walking by, if he speaks to them directly, they know that they are blessed. And light speaks to our chakras, it speaks to our consciousness, it also speaks to our passion. It just needs to be easy. It doesn't have to be a big deal. And St. Nicholas, uh, who is the original, original um, you know, icon for uh, for Santa Claus, he says, the giver of every good and perfect gift has um, called upon us to mimic God's giving by grace through faith. And this is not of ourselves, but really tapping into that presence that's all around. And this is from St. Basil the Great. When you sit down to eat, pray. When you eat bread, do so thanking him or her for being so generous to you. If you drink wine, be mindful of him or her who has given it to you for your pleasure and as a relief in sickness. When you dress, thank him or her for his kindness, her kindness in providing you with 
close. When you look at the sky and the beauty of the stars, throw yourself at God's feet and adore him or her who is his or her wisdom that has arranged all of this for you. Similarly, when the sun goes down and when it rises, when you are asleep or awake, give thanks to God who created and arranged all of these things for your benefit. You know that you have love and praise when you uh, are in um, awareness of the creator. The cheer of miracles are everywhere. And if you just look and open up to that, you will find whatever version of the Christ child that helps you to know uh, a sacred opportunity. God bless you, everyone. Amen.